everyone. Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is illustrating null and alternative hypothesis. What is a statistical hypothesis? It is a claim or a statement about the property of a population, an educated guess about the population parameter. We know what parameter is. It is, of course, a descriptive measure for the population like the mean, the standard deviation, and of course the variance. It can be expressed in words or in mathematical statement. Take note of that. It can be expressed in words or in mathematical statement. There are two types of statistical hypothesis. The first one is what we call null hypothesis and that is denoted by H sub O. Take note of this. It is a statement that is under investigation or being tested. It is always hoped to be rejected. Rejected. Usually represents a statement of no effect, no difference, or put in another way, things haven't changed, it must contain condition of equality. So we have equals, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. But about the second, Second is what we call alternative hypothesis, and that is denoted by H sub A. It is a statement adopted in the situation in which evidence is so strong that you reject the null hypothesis. It is the opposite of the null hypothesis. Usually represents a statement of there is an effect, significant difference, or put in another way, things have changed, and represents idea which the researcher wants to prove. It uses the symbols, is not equal to, greater than, and of course, let us have these examples now. Determine whether the statement is null or alternative hypothesis. Remember that null hypothesis is denoted by H sub O, and it uses the symbol equals, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. For the alternative hypothesis, it is denoted by H sub A, and it uses the symbols is not equal to, less than, and greater than. Now, let us try to translate the, this into symbols, and then we will identify whether it is a null or alternative. The mean content of citric acid in a bottle of juice drinks is greater than 2. ML. So if we'll try to translate that into mathematical statement, that would be is greater than 2 ml. Okay, so therefore, this is an alternative hypothesis. Number two, the mean performance of all grade 6 students of a school in the NOT is 35. So this is, is 35. Therefore, this one is Anal hypothesis. There is no difference between the performance of the cheaper vaccine and the more expensive vaccine. So this one is, of course, equal. So again, this is a null hypothesis. Number four. Mean of the population is not equal to 21,000. It is obviously an alternative hypothesis. Number five. The average monthly salary of private school teachers is less than 16,000. So that is less than 16,000. So therefore, it is an alternative hypothesis. Number six, the average TV viewing time of all five-year-old children is four hours a day. So this is equal to four. And therefore, that is... A we have two types of hypothesis testing. One is non-directional, non-directional, or two-tailed. A test of hypothesis where the alternative hypothesis is written with a not equal to sign. So it's not equal to sign. The second one is what we call directional hypothesis. Okay, or one tailed. It is a test of hypothesis where the alternative hypothesis is expressed using a less than or a greater than. Use of a less than sign, left tailed. Again, less than. This one is left tailed. 
while of course greater than is right tail. Okay, let us take these examples. Let us determine whether the given hypothesis is directional or non-directional. Number one, the average weekly allowance of college students is less than 1,500. So that one is an alternative hypothesis. So this is less than 1,500. If we we'll write, of course, the null hypothesis, this will be equal to 1,500. Now, is this a two-tailed or is this a one-tailed? Obviously, this one is a one-tailed hypothesis and this one is, of course, left tail. So, this one is left-tailed and this one is one-tailed. Okay. So, number two. The average weekly allowance of college students is 1,500. So, our H sub A and our H sub O will be, this one is, of course, another hypothesis. So, that is equals 1,500. Okay. So, our alternative hypothesis would be, is not equal to 1,500. It's the opposite, of course, of the null hypothesis. So, therefore, this one is two-tailed. 